Today was a significant day for both the Australian and PNG government in strengthening the relationship and support to develop Papua New Guinea. Phase 4 of the incentive fund program is the outcome of lessons learned and reflections of phase 2 and 3. We work with partners who want to improve the conditions in Papua New Guinea and we're delighted to be taking this program into the future with a fourth phase. Ms. Stokes said the next six years we'll see 160 million kina available as grants to improve areas in education and health. For the past 14 years, over 300 million has been put out as incentive funds. Phase 4 will now target the empowerment of women and girls. We will be asking all applicants under the new phase to clearly demonstrate how their proposal will support the empowerment of women and girls. A special feature of Phase 4 is the inclusion of proposals from the private sector. Ms. Stokes said it's not about subsidizing the private sector, but must be seen as socio-economic development. The government of PNG acknowledged that while Australia will continue to support the current priority areas, 30% of the current aid program will be reprioritized over the coming three years to fund initiatives focused on private sector growth and trade. Documents was signed and exchanged between the Australia and PNG government to embrace the occasion. Jack Lapave, Junior National, MTV News.